What's up, BJPenn.com? It's Marshall Carper again. I'm back here with one more story from the island. It's in my book, Cauliflower Chronicles. I recommend getting it from Amazon if you want to check it out. Um, I spent six months living in Hilo, Hawaii, training at BJ Penn MMA Academy. It's quite an experience and uh, it's definitely worth the read. So what I wanted to talk today was about the time that I got to fight BJ Penn. And this is, uh, this is a pretty, pretty timely little video blog here because he's getting ready to uh, compete against John Fitch here in about a week, and that's, uh, that's going to be an incredible fight. I think it's going to be uh, going to be pretty exciting. BJ Penn is naturally going to get the win. Got to go, got to go with him on this one. But the time I got to fight BJ Penn, so I was in I was in Hilo for about six months, training with BJ Penn and May Academy, and uh, at the time it was 2008, I think, and BJ was he was in camp for Joe Stevenson, and as soon as he finished Joe Stevenson. He's right back in camp again for Sean Shirt. So he's always he's always pretty focused on his own training. Um, he's letting his other instructors kind of handle the school so he can focus on preparation, obviously. But uh, one night he came into a gi class and I got to roll with him. And it was like a week before I got to leave, so I'd waited my whole trip to get to get to roll with get, get to roll with BJ. And um, a lot of people ask me what that's like, and it's kind of a hard thing to to put into words because there's a point in jiu-jitsu where there's there's you and then there's people that are ranked pretty close to you but still beat your ass like 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 you owe the money like it's just they're just so far beyond you everything you do seems to be wrong and they just completely hose you and then there's people that are ranked just a little bit above them that make them feel the same exact way and so it's hard when you get you know these guys that are technically rank wise pretty close to me that are still destroying me and then there's a guy like BJ Penn you can't even it's really kind of hard to comprehend just how good he is because he's so far above you. Um, there's there's a science fiction writer, his name's Arthur C. Clarke, and he said that any technology sufficiently advanced is indistinguishable from magic. So when something gets so far beyond you, it, it, that's just what it feels like. And um, a purple belt that I was training with at the time, his name's John, uh, he actually described rolling with BJ like grappling with a ghost. And that's really what it feels like. He just goes where he wants. You feel like you have a handle on him, and then he kind of evaporates and moves to another position. Um, and then when he does get to a position, his pressure is unbelievable. It's like a three-car garage on your chest. And uh, when I rolled with him, he was pretty pretty good-natured, laughed at me a lot. because like, <laughs> what am I going to do uh, as, as just a, a know-nothing white belt? And um, BJ, he messed with me quite a bit. Uh, one of his, what he did to me a lot, he did like a muffler joke. Just cupping my uh, my my mouth and my nose that way because I have a posture I have to move just a little bit and he was all over me and uh, he also untucked his gi and draped it over my face a lot just to just to kind of mess with my breathing um, but I was had nothing with nothing for BJ Penn he just kind of messed around with me for a little bit and then when he got bored choked me out just like he does uh, in a lot of his fights it was a pretty crazy experience just to feel what that level is like and, you know it's kind of something to aspire to. Yeah, just kind of like a role model on those. You want to you roll like BJ Penn. So that's something I've been thinking about ever since that happened. So uh, if you want to hear a more detailed story about that, it's in the book. Um, or feel free to email me, look me up on my Facebook, or on my Twitter. I'd be more than happy to answer any of your questions uh, about myself or about anything I can help you with. Uh, not a problem at all. Um, definitely stay tuned for UFC 127, where BJ Penn can kick John Pitch's ass. Thanks, BJPenn.com. See you next time.